hello guys my airflow is running on ubuntu as you can see here and uh the default database is sqlite database and i need to run it on mysql server and the mysql server is installed on my windows system not on ubuntu system so if you are looking to solve this thing then this video is for you so to achieve this we have few steps first of all creating database for airflow we need to create our database here and we have these three commands here uh, the database name will be this and we have airflow user uh, and air with the password airflow underscore pass and we have granted all the privileges to this user let's run all these commands don't worry i'll provide all the all the things to you in in the description of this video so you just need to focus on this video so here you can see it has created this database and we don't have any tables yet let's do the next things next thing is to define connection in airflow.config file so if we go to this airflow.config file and we have to search uh, sql here and we have this if you can see we have this default database or uh, connection defined here uh, we will define mysql connection here with with this thing okay we will comment this out and we will use this one so we defined airflow underscore user which we defined here and airflow underscore pass here and we have the host as the local host with the port 3306 which is the default for mysql and our database name is airflow underscore db which we defined here so this is how we make connection uh the next thing is to install mysql client on ubuntu so for that uh let's pause this airflow first of all and uh, what we need to do we need to install live mysql client dev library here so i'll provide all these commands to you so don't worry i've already have installed it now next thing is to export these two variables okay i'll provide these two uh, in the description so don't worry uh, the next thing is to install mysql client using the pip command so this is how we do it so once you are done with this thing, the next thing is to migrate our database to Airflow. First of all, let's check whether we have saved this file. Yes, I have saved the file and uh, we need to run. Uh, first of all, what we can do is we can create our Airflow user and we can delete this default airflow.db, which we don't need now let's create our first airflow user with everything as set admin username as admin password as admin role as admin everything is admin for the sake of simplicity so let's run it our airflow user should be created okay db not found let's okay uh, user created now we will do airflow db migrate command which should migrate our default database to mysql once we do it you will see that it will create all the relevant tables in our mysql if we refresh this now you can see here all the tables that are default for running dag tags and airflow uh, have been created here so this is how we do it now if we run airflow stand alone it should be running on mysql server rather than default database and this error should disappear 
let's wait for the server to start as well. Okay, let's refresh it. Okay, reload. Okay, it has given us this password for now. We can pause the server and recreate our uh, user. This shouldn't work. Okay, it has worked. That user which we created. Now that error has gone. And we can set this to local executor in our config file. So this warning will uh, get away as well. So this is how we achieve it. Now you can see our MySQL uh, has this uh, Airflow underscore DB, which is the database for Airflow, which is running on Ubuntu. So this is how we do it. So if you have liked this video and it has solved your problem, then don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't uh, subscribed the channel, you should subscribe the channel. Uh, and I'll come with an exciting video later on. Thank you for watching.